All right, welcome back to the podcast. We have another guest this week, and I'm really excited to have her on, Mallory Ingmeyer. Yep. There we go. I got the last name right. Um, Mallory's been with us right around eight years. Um, she moved in from Chicago, correct? Right. And uh, she's been... <clears throat> what, what I love to have on is like model members for, for these uh, interviews because... She's came in here, you know, she's done a combination of our CrossFit, our power hour, and um, something that me and Dave were like joking about, like we came out real hot and we've got like 5% worse every year. She's gotten about 5% better all eight years she's been here. Um, you know, I'm going to ask her a few questions about just her story, but she's done some really cool things from like an athletic perspective in the last couple of years that I think really need just highlighted. Um, so Mallory, can you just give us like, you know, maybe a quick synopsis. I don't know what you did like growing up uh, as far as like sports and just activity wise. Um, you just kind of give us a little background on yourself. Yeah. I feel like I kind of tried every sport and realized I wasn't super coordinated. So I ended up swimming because it's one of those things where just putting the work in, you can overcome any, lack of natural talent. So let's try the coordination in water. I can't do it on land. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, I think that's harder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, too. So yeah. I got yeah. I got to be a pretty serious swimmer in high school. I was swimming like 90 minutes every morning and two hours every mm. night. Wow. And I was the captain of my swim team. Um and it's then a lot of discipline. Yeah, it it taught me like, woo, uh mm -hmm. kind of how to just how to work hard and get better over time just by putting in the work. Um, but when that was done and I went to college, I, I didn't really know what to do with myself. So I thought like, let's try running. Cause I think it's the same kind of thing where you just put in the work and get better over time. So I ran my first marathon like junior year of college, I think. And I wasn't fast. It took me, I think over four and a half hours. Um, but I did that, I don't know, for a few years, uh, probably four or five marathons. And then I needed a foot surgery. So that kind of took me out of marathons for a long time. What was the issue with your foot? Um, it sounds weird, but arthritis. So oh. when I was 10, I had a tumor in my foot. It was benign, but apparently the trauma of the prior surgery caused acute arthritis. So they actually surgically fused my second and third metatarsal in my foot. So that's like the toe equivalent where they connect in your foot to like your finger connecting into your, your hand. Um, arthritis pain is totally gone. Okay. I still have some mobility issues yeah, from it. Which is, about that. If is you've that... ever seen me squat, that's yeah. why they look so bad. Like overhead squats, probably especially. <laughs> oh, I especially can't do that. Yeah. My ankle mobility is terrible, but um, you know, I was in so much pain that I would have taken any kind of sacrifice to just yeah. be done with that. That's young to have arthritis too. Yeah. I think I was 25. Wow. Well, um, it didn't affect your running too much because you're yeah. back. <laughs> I mean, it yeah. took a while to get back into yeah. it, but I actually like, by the time I got back into it, I had met my husband, Dave, who's a really good runner. And I started running again with him. And I think I actually got better after the surgery because he kind of taught me how to run fast, which I had never done before. <laughs> yeah. So I did a little bit of like maybe half marathons after that. And uh, after I had my, my daughter, Olivia, who's nine now, I joined a CrossFit gym in Chicago. Um, actually, I was inspired by my mother-in-law who had taken up CrossFit at, I don't know, 50 something. And I had never thought it was something I could yeah, do, but really if she cool. could do it. I can do it. So Dave and I both signed up. Um, you know, I did it for about a year in Chicago before we moved here. When I got here, I couldn't do a pull up. I think my bench press was like 95 pounds. Um, but I enjoyed it and I kept coming back and I got better and better. I, I got with the body biz, got my nutrition on track. Jolie worked with you, right? Yeah. 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 And all of a sudden, like I, I had dropped some weight, I had built some muscle and I could do a pull up and that was pretty awesome. So I, I kind of kept coming back for more. Um, a couple years ago, I ran another marathon. 
uh, wasn't too happy about it. My husband got drunk and signed us both up. So I, <laughs> uh, I was committed, even though I didn't want to be. And I had to cut back on CrossFit because you just there wasn't enough time to do both. And it was, it do, was yeah. beating up my body. Um, and I, I didn't like how I was losing muscle in my arms. So that's when I started adding Power Hour. And I just totally fell in love. Um, I only go on upper body days, but usually twice a week. And my bench press went from like 95 pounds to 155 pounds and still climbing, I hope. Wow. So that's huge. I love it. Yeah. 155 pounds before. I'm trying to think. I remember in college they had a, a bench press competition at OU, and there was a lot of people who, who like signed up for it and, um, you know, was in the weight room. And then a girl from our boxing team won, and it was a really big deal because she uh, did 135. So, and that was the first time I'd ever seen a girl bench press 135. So it just puts into perspective, like 155 is for a female. That's right. a huge And you're bench. not like a real huge person no. either. So <laughs> that's, that's like well above your body weight. That's yeah. pretty amazing. That's awesome. And so that obviously correlated into um, this past year. Was this your first pump and run that you've done? Yeah, I waited till I was 40 because when you're 40. Yes, I was waiting. <laughs> wait comes yeah. Yes, I was so happy to do it that year. I was like, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so when you're under 40, women have to do 70% of body weight. But once you hit 40, it's 60%. So I did my first pump and run this year. And I kind of tested the bench press ahead of time. And I got somewhere around 20. And I was like, well, I think I can get to all 30 bench press reps much easier than I can drop five minutes off my 5k. So yeah, 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 yeah. I went all in on that. And I, I got all 30 reps. Oh, awesome. Which, yeah. which is huge because, awesome. I mean, you were, I saw like your placement in the overall race with how many people you did great. Like that was awesome. We had another uh, guy do it from the gym, Oren, who. Um, he's so fast. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he, he was super fast. And then he, he had done it before. And then with Power Hour um, added, uh, he gained 15 pounds of body weight. So he was like a cross country runner. And then added reps to his bench, which is pretty cool. So he got heavier yeah. and added weight. And then I think he, you know, ran like an 18-something cool. 5K. I mean, he was cooking, cooking. Well, especially for so. women to get all 30 reps. It's much more common for men to get all 30 reps in that competition than women to get all 30 reps. So if you can get all 30 reps and, and like, run relatively fast, I mean, you're Yeah, you're I liked it. it. And, I, you know, I think – I do have a half marathon tomorrow, but after that, I'm planning to kind of take some time off from distance running and work on getting a really fast 5K or 10K. Yeah. So yeah. maybe I'll yeah. do it again next year and yeah. run faster. Is that here in town, the half? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where's the course at? It's downtown. Okay. Um, I don't I don't know. It starts I've done it like a long, long time ago, and I really enjoyed, like, um, I, I went back to the Columbus because that was like, I love that course. Yeah, it's a good course. Uh, I think it was voted the number two half marathon in the country by USA yeah. Today. I've done the yeah. Cap City twice. Yeah, it's a yeah. good race. I did it 18 and then I did the 22. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, so what would your goal be for the 5K? What would be like oh your your goal to break? So I think my PR was actually during Summer Shred a few years ago, yeah. and yep. it was like low 23 minutes. So I would like to break I, 23 minutes. I think yeah. you cracked, you cracked, um, you were under 23. I know. That's why I was just you thinking were, like I mean, last year, I feel like you were. You were, you were just, yeah. you were just under, bec- I, I can remember it vividly because we signed up for a race and then um, you and I, uh, do you remember? We were like sprinting at the end. We were like, <laughs> I you was know, racing you. Yeah, we were, we <laughs> ran in together like the last 200 meters, like going all out. Like yeah. it was, yeah. it was fun. Yeah. We had like a group of like two or three of us. Yeah. I think Dave won. My Dave won. won. He won yeah. the 5K. And then that was his first win, I think he said. Maria and I took second and third for the women. So yep. we, we really dominated the podium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was cool. Yeah. So yeah. No, I, cause I remember I was, um, I was in the 22s. And and you were like right there with me. So Yeah, I'm I may have been sure just under twenty three. Yeah, so yeah. getting yeah. like below twenty three again, maybe twenty 
22, 22 and a half would be a yeah. good goal. Yep. We were just talking about that because I was like, how long ago was it that I was fast? Because somehow I've gotten slow. <laughs> and, and, I don't believe it. <laughs> no, I mean, like I just ran. I barely got right under 25. And I'd like to pretend like I wasn't trying that hard. My heart rate hit like 180. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not real heavy right now. I don't know. It's just not there. But I think, you know, I just have to put in that like sprint work, which I just. You just don't run it's that hard. much. You're not running. Well, and I don't run fast very much, yep. more than anything. I run slow often. <laughs> yeah, and that's almost relaxing for I me, know. but running fast is really yeah, hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I tend to now pull, like, a hamstring every time I try to, like, run fast. <laughs> the, the 5K distance, I think, is really <clears throat> is really a good one that's it's super applicable to certainly, like, what we do in CrossFit. We have a lot of workouts that are – you know, in that 20 ish minute range where you're mm -hmm. going really fast, really hard. And I think it's, it kind of meets that um, endurance and athleticism kind of meet together right at that 5K distance where uh, once you start stretching out, not, not that there's, I mean, it's really good to be able to go long and, and that marathon, half marathon, but you start to sacrifice um, strength. Uh, explosiveness and some other things just because of the time, effort, and energy that it takes to to train for those types of things. And, and even the body that you need to have to be successful, I feel like, at that marathon distance. Um, when you when you shorten the distance, you can you can be a bit more of a jack of all trades. Yeah. So it was always hard for me to stay light, even just doing I've done just a lot of halves. And I remember, like, when I start training for it, whoever I was working with at the time, if I talked to them about it, like, oh, you're going to drop so much weight. And, like, that hunger outweighs whatever <laughs> run. Totally I'll get home and, like, house a box of cereal and be like, where did that even go? <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Well, something I always like to ask people that have been in great shape for a long period of time, and you have two daughters, right? Right. And you have a big girl professional job. <laughs> And, and you've been a professional for working full time this entire time. How do you manage it all? Like, how do you balance it? Um, you know, what uh, what conversations do you have in your household about like fitness and health and and, you know, how how do you guys work on that? Yeah, um, I think I'm fortunate in that, you know, my husband and I both really value health and fitness. So when we have to make some sacrifices so the other person can get a workout in, he's totally supportive of that. Um, I also, you know, yes, I've been in consulting for most of my professional career, but it's it's been very flexible. And I'm fortunate, even my boss, like she does CrossFit in Minneapolis. And um, when I duck out for a noon wad, she's totally fine with it. Yeah. So she's, duck, she's ducking out too. No, she <laughs> totally does it too. So, um, you know, I, I have people in my life that understand it and support it, and that makes a really big difference. But it's I'm an, an obsessive planner. <laughs> on Sunday night, Dave and I sit down with our calendar, and we say, like, okay, I'm going to work out on the morning on this day, and you're going to yeah. take the kids to school. And on this day, you know, I'm going to work out at noon. So we, we kind of plan out our whole week, and every now and then something comes up and it doesn't work out. But, you know, it, we just have to put the – the work in ahead of time to make yeah. sure that there's time for it. Yeah. And I That's especially cheap. like people. <laughs> yeah. I like people to hear this because I mean, it, especially I hope my clients listen to this. So I'm always like, you have to plan better and you have to put in more time and effort, especially as you get older, your kids get into more activities. You just got to put in more work. And that's why you don't see a lot of like, you know, 40 mid forties with children in great shape. Cause there's so much going on. They just get overwhelmed and they're like, Hey, Oh, all right. We just got, Back from like spring break, we don't have any meals. Like, what do we do? Like, what, you know, do, like we have stuff in our freezer when we come back where we can just like defrost it or whatever, but yep. just like how much time and effort and how each family kind of does it. Um, but yeah. yeah. And I, like, I envy the people that have a, a time of day where they always go to that class and it's always the same people. My life is not like that. Yeah. Like sometimes it's yeah. 6 30 in the morning, sometimes it's noon, maybe yeah. every now and then I pop in at like 9 30. Um, evenings are rare for me, but yeah. every now and then I do it. So I'm always working out with different coaches and different people. Yeah. But it works. Yeah. And that just depends on like your meetings at work when you yeah, have to. Okay. It depends on my meeting schedule, the kids activity schedule, Dave's meeting schedule. We both work with companies that are based on Pacific time. So sometimes we have like work in the evening. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think that's great for people to hear because they get, <clears throat> they get very stuck in, well, I work out maybe in, at a certain time. And, and if, if a wrinkle gets thrown into that or their week or job shifts, well, now that I, I'm not doing that or I can't do that that day, it's just kind of out the window. So you have to be adaptable and be able to, you know, get maybe slightly out of your comfort zone and go to a different time. Like your body's going to feel a little different at, you know, 5.30 p.m. than it does at 6.30 a.m. Or, you know, it just does. But um, if you can do that over time, you're going to be a lot fitter because you're going to get 20 workouts in a month instead of 12. Totally. You know, I, I really see that a lot where it's like, get them in where you can. Um, and, and setting up your, your week that way, it, it might even sound like a little neurotic to some people, but that's why you're able to, again, keep that climb, keep getting fitter, keep yeah. compounding these skills and getting better because you're consistent and month over month, you're, you know, you look at your Wattify, uh, you know, workouts and you're getting a ton of them in. Um, and then you're getting runs in outside of the gym. So that makes a huge difference. I actually just popped up your, your profile <clears throat> to check, uh, um, right before we did this, uh, just to check your, your total number of, of workouts. It's right around like 1500. Wow. Yeah. But that's just logged in. We've gotten more hardcore on, you know, like we, we want people to sign in and like not classes get full and things like that post pandemic. Um, so it's probably more, you yeah. know, I mean, there was a point when I was doing like five or six CrossFit classes every week. And now I'm a little bit more, I would say balanced. Like that just doesn't work for me at this age. My oh, body yeah. can't handle yeah, that. So same. I'm, I'm doing like yeah. a couple CrossFit classes, a couple power hour classes, and maybe I run at home a couple days a yeah. week. Okay. Yep. So you do like five or six workouts. Okay. Usually. Do you do yoga or anything like that? No, I've, yeah. I should. I've tried meditation. I've tried yoga. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's tough if you're used to like going all the time, but yeah. I think if you can really get into it, I think it's good for like your body and um, just neurologically and just kind of calm down. Cause you're probably yeah. just like running full speed ahead every day. Um, so um, have you had many injuries over the last eight years? Cause I haven't really seen you injured, which is Pretty no. cool. For um, as hard I, as you work out. I had one injury. I, I hurt a calf muscle. I, I did it running, but uh, Mandy was like, it's totally because of the way that you power clean and like land on your tiptoe on your bad foot. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I was out of commission, like no jumping or running for a few months while I rehabbed that. But, you know, I could still do other things and it, it wasn't too terrible. Yeah. Well, it's probably hard for you, though, because you're so used to running. Yeah. But, yeah, just listening to her and not doing it, not continuing <laughs> to push through it. Yeah, that's that's great. Now, what what do you guys do in terms of, like, meal prep? Do you guys meal prep every week or? Oh, yeah. Um, we eat probably most meals at home every week. We, we go out usually once, maybe twice if, if it's a special occasion or something. So, again, I'm a big planner. I will menu plan for the whole week. I had a feeling what you were a menu and, Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> um, I try to do prep a lot of it on Sunday. Even if I'm not making the whole meal on Sunday, I'll like yeah. chop the veggies for something that's going to be made on Tuesday. Um, and I always make enough that it feeds both of us for dinner and both of us for lunch, lunch the next, next day. day. Yeah. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. She's got it all figured out. Yeah. It's actually getting harder now that my kids are a little older and they'll actually eat what I eat. I'm like, oh, I made now four portions, but yeah. now they want to eat it. <laughs> Can I have seconds? No. <laughs> In fact, you cannot. <laughs> that is my lunch. <laughs> that, that is that's the key. I mean, the the meal prepping and, and kind of building your life around that food is <clears throat> people will ask me. So, you know, I have friends and family and, you know, they'll ask me maybe fitness tip at like a family gathering, like, Hey, what's the, what's something it, usually they, they ask me, what can I take? So they want a, a supplement. And, and, and this I'm like, pill is magic. Like, it's I don't, so I, I just don't have, they, they're just like, I just don't have that much energy or whatever. It is. I'm like, you're not going to want to probably hear this, but the, the, the bit, the best fitness advice that I can ever give anyone is, uh, Meal prep your food, and, and if anything, at least just bring your lunch to work every day and, uh, you know, 
think about what you're going to eat, meal prep everything, eat breakfast at home, bring your food into to work, and then eat dinner at home. And, and if you can do all of that, that's going to take care of, you know, 80% of at least the weight fluctuation and things like that. And they're just like, that's, no. that's, yeah, nah. that's not fun. <laughs> nah. I wanted like a secret workout move or a pill or something. Brandon's brother lived with us for a couple months and he got in great shape, but, um, wait, he lived with us for a little bit at uh, short period of time. Then he was coming back and he's like, I really appreciate it, but your life is kind of like my hell <laughs> like waking up <laughs> at six and, and then we'd go, he'd go work out and then we'd have dinner at five and it was <laughs> early like, dinners. Yeah. He's like, I understand why you do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, it and we were like so excited. We thought he was excited. <laughs> and he's Did like, not no. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's and not glamorous. In the middle of the day. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not. I mean, it's like if you can lead this somewhat boring life and really find like enjoyment in it and feeling good. And then, uh, you know, do you guys have like a date night every week? Is that how you try to balance it? Or? Yes. Okay. Too. Yeah. Because you've got to try to balance it on in some other way or, um, you know, go out with your friends or, or yeah. something, have a vacation. Do you guys try to get out of town every so often too? Or Yeah, we try to take a couple of vacations every year. Yeah. Yeah. Usually with the kids, but we are finally taking an adult vacation this summer. So oh, nice. <laughs> Where are you going? Mexico. Nice. Nice. Really cool. Are you going to like a resort there? Yeah. Uh, kind of a 40th birthday celebration with a few other couples. Oh, oh that'll that, be fun. Yeah, that's that'll great. That'll be really fun. Yeah, we've, <clears throat> we enjoy doing, like, we do our vacations with the kids, but... Um, those ones, like, when you finally get out without, it's it's fun. It's different. It's like... You uh, go back in time a little bit. Yeah. You know, just for no that, that week. Yeah, yeah. It just feels like that just, <laughs> just need for to know a my minute. name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and not lose my credit card. But even if I do, they'll replace it right away on Apple Wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that out. <laughs> they have it like replaced the next, I mean, before you even get it in the mail. It's Where great. Was that 20 years ago. I know. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I know. Wait, wait when we weeks. really needed it. <laughs> and our license. That would be great to have in your Apple Wallet, too. Yeah. Oh, a new driver's license? Yeah, just, right yeah, just there. a new one. Right not, away. Not a two week, uh, two week wait. I used to lose so twenty years ago. I used to lose. These are all going to be brain implants at some point. <laughs> We're not going to need a wallet. Like, yeah, exactly. Cell phones a lot. I, you know, when I was really young, like those, you know, flip phones, and there was this refurbished like dealer. That I would go to and it'd be funny because <laughs> like, I'd, I'd like be coming back and they'd like see me walking in like from the parking lot like. Like what's so the cheapest? You had phone that you guy, got? and then you had your your friend at the bank that would help you when you over withdrew, Overdrafted, right? Yeah. <laughs> so one of my my brother's roommates worked for Fifth Third down in Cincinnati in the call center when we were in college, and I I'd overdraft probably every like six to eight weeks, and then I just directly call him. I'm like, hey man, we got to get these fees off, and it was like probably the eighth time, and he's like, oh, he's like. Brandon, this is the last time. Like, they're they're kind of <laughs> onto it. They start asking questions, like why I took the last like three off of your thing. I'll do it this last time. And I actually ended up when I got my uh, first training job to pay him back. I think I trained him for free for six months because <laughs> he took all my all my uh, overdraft fees off. I trained him for free like three times a week for six months, like to get him back. But yeah, being young and and dumb like that. Um, That'll be fun. You get back to that for, for a week. Mm -hmm. um, no, this has been really cool. I think it's cool to like hear uh, what someone else does. And it kind of like confirms like it's the basics, but it's being consistent with the basics over time. And what's cool to hear is like, you know, you do, you found a way to make this facility really work for you with the, the two power hours you know, two or three CrossFits a week, you know, a run or two. And then that probably shifts here and there, depending on your goals yeah. and, and what you're looking for. Um, I also like people to hear that. I mean, you're a great runner. What's your goal for the half tomorrow? I want to run an 815 average mile. So what would that come out? Like 140? 48 or something. Okay. That's, solid, that's yeah. I mean, that's moving. And you only run twice a week. People think they have to run like four or five times a week. I did the marathon only running twice a week, and I PR'd. Wow. What was your marathon time? I'm not, I'm not like as good with Like four hours and just... ten minutes, so okay. like nine and a half minute pace. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah. It, it, it didn't feel good. 
Yeah, well, I'm sure it would. Feel I don't know that it feels great more. for anyone at the end, <laughs> you know. I th- but I think people think they have to have so much volume with miles and running, and especially as you get older, those miles just get so slow, and then your body almost becomes deconditioned in these other ways, with like power and, and I the feel strength. Like CrossFit is way more transferable to running than I ever thought it would be. Like getting those CrossFit workouts into. I think it kept me in the yeah. level of fitness I needed. Yeah, yeah. I That's would I would say, and, and tell me if you, you agree with this, when I watch running, especially long-distance running, like the marathon runs by our house every year, and we're we're deep into it. We're around, like, mile 20. When people, people start are, to break down, yeah. no one looks pretty That's usually. That's a great spot to be. <laughs> yeah. But, but what I see where cross, CrossFit gets your back so damn strong that – when you're running that distance, you can maintain your posture longer. Whereas like when you start getting into those like deep miles where you see everyone where, you know, it really hurts is they're slumped over. over. Yeah. And they're, they're kind of like, they got a little shuffle going where if anything, it just allows you to have like your postural endurance, your core strength, and just being able to stay in a decent position for longer um, than you otherwise wouldn't be able to, if you're not, you know, pulling deadlifts and squatting and doing all those things. So true. Yeah. That's what I've just noticed when I, I like see it. I, I don't have the experience of the long distance. I do a ton of five K's and things like that. But when I look at that long distance, I'm like, this is where I feel like I see it really kind of benefiting. Um, so I need to stretch out and do one of those halves here in the next year or two. Don't look at me. I'm, I'm done. I you, might be done. Are you retired from those? Maybe. maybe I need to not. just experience we'll it. You get me drunk one it. night and we sign up for it. <laughs> just I'll sign her it. up. She'll forgive you eventually. Like, ah. I'll, do, I'll do another one. Yeah, I need, to, I need to do one. I'll yeah, come, the, I'll come the, with the the a sign. The out to the in corner. October, then the Cap City is always in April. So okay. Yeah. yeah. You can either do one or the other. Yeah. I'll come yeah. out with yeah. a sign. I recommend Cap City because you train when it's not really hot out in the summer <laughs> yeah it depends yeah. on yeah because one's in october which is both yeah. the both the race days are nice april and october yeah. nice race days but yeah. do you want to train in the winter or do you want to train in the summer but yeah. i like to train in the fall like you know when everyone's outside tailgating it's kind of fun i would run on olentangy trail so i don't know yeah. i go with the fall yeah, the cap city if you're trying to like get in shape but like it's it's late winter, early spring. Yeah. It'd be cold. I don't mind running. My the cold, body's but always yeah, like, yeah. don't try it's to push yeah. me right now. Give me, yeah. give me, yeah. give me a couple more months. I kind of need that motivation to get outside yeah. in the winter. Yeah, yeah, and the pump and run's good for that too because you yeah. want to get light because you don't want to bench press a lot. And I don't ever want like at that time. I'm like, ah, oh, just give me another couple months and then I'll get it together. But, you know, if you're going to have to bench press five more pounds, you're like, all right, so yeah. knock this off. <laughs> yeah, as it got closer, I was like, why didn't I just try to lose 10 pounds? That may have been easier. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that was always my game. And then I had the outfit dialed down where I take the tongues out of my shoes. <laughs> my outfit, I got it to like 0. 0.6 pounds, like sports bra, like little shorts. That's the only way. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do that again. It was good. Yeah, yeah, it's a good event. Well, Mallory? Appreciate you coming out. I think that's a good place to kind of stick a fork in it. Um, yeah. Thank Thanks you so much. Me. Yeah. You've been awesome on this and, and then keep up the good work. Like, again, you are what I want people to get out of this place. Like you, you come in like on Saturdays, you bring your kids, you know, and like you and your husband, like you've, you've really figured out a good rhythm and it's like the way you guys have grown with the facility is is really like it's it's executing on the vision that that you know Kate and I have like putting this place together and and it it just brings a smile to my face to to see you guys like crushing it here so keep up the good work